Well, 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 it seems like the Roach King himself, Asmongold, has gotten himself into a bit of a pickle. Uh, he went and decided to speak on the whole uh, Palestine-Israel conflict, and uh, what he said got him in a heat patrol. If you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. Saying something is silly and ignorant like that, saying that those people deserve a genocide is mental. Like, I'm not saying you have to care or be invested in that whole thing. That whole crisis over there has been going on for more than 20 years, if not 30 or 40. And it's one of the things it's gonna continue to go on until there's some type of resolution in place. But make no mistake, both sides are getting their hands dirty. But best believe, the drama doesn't end there. The Lich King took to Twitter saying, looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing, my bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find aggressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. Mind you, there's people in Palestine that wish they could have Asmongo's life, where they could sit in front of a computer screen, eat a bunch of junk food, and stream eight, nine hours a day and make millions in the process. But the normal lives that most of us live are lives that people in Palestine would love to have where they don't have to wake up every morning to the sound of gunfire or bombs falling. There are some people over there that just wish they could just wake up, say hello neighbor and go to work. But oh wait, there's more. It seems the roach got squashed. Now, while people are dancing in the streets with joy and glee, it is noteworthy to point out his other Twitch channel, Asmogold, is still up and running. Now, mind you, he has not streamed on this channel in years, but I don't think it would be the wisest of moves to stream on your second channel because it can come off as ban evasion. And I know Twitch don't play about that. Very similar to how YouTube operates things. If you get banned on YouTube, you can't create another account or you can't use your existing channels to make money or to stream off of there like you did on your others. That would be a ban invasion and you would get clapped. But boy, how the mighty have fallen from stinky roach lich king to social media pariah. Can't get any better than that. But y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.